Hello! So today I've got a new tune for you again. This tune is called Noosa and it's written by Ruri Campbell. Um, yeah, it's a really nice tune. It's quite simple, but it's really fun. Um, it's in 6-4 and in the key of D major. And yeah, I'll play it through first so you can hear the tune. So that's the whole tune. Um, yeah, I'll take it phrase by phrase. Um, so the first phrase of the A part starts on a D on the A string and it goes starts the same again so it goes again so that's just and then the final phrase of the A part goes And then that's the whole A part, it's just um, those four bars. So I'll play them round together so you can hear how the A part sounds all together. A part there. So now I'll just hand over to Rupert for a minute um, and he's going to insert a little thing and he'll take you through the chord structure for the A part. Just really really quickly um, I'm going to talk you through the uh, the chord structure as we go. I'll call them out on the downbeat the first couple of times through so you get used to where they're placed um, and then I'll introduce a bit of a picking pattern uh, which is kind of a, a plucking of the root note and then a down up. So here we go starting on a D and
Okay, um, so just before I hand back to Sophie, uh, a couple of little cheats for you there. Um, with your D in the first bars, you want to be holding it um, with a kind of alternative position using your little pinky, so it frees up that first finger to add in a B. So you're going from your just a D chord and adding a B on the second fret of your A string. And it just gives a little bit of variation um, when you're chugging through that first D, because otherwise it feels a bit uh, uncanny. Uh, it just adds a nice little lift to things and kind of hints at what comes later in the progression. Um, any other variations? Uh, when you find yourself at the E major, you can add in a little seventh there with your little finger if you want. Or the other alternative is to remove your third finger. It just gives a little bit of uh, uh, vibe to it. And the only other thing that I was putting in, I think, was just um, you can slide up your A and sliding up your little finger as you play. But have a play around with it and let me know what you think. Anyway, I'll hand back to Sophie now. So see you in a moment. Bye. Great. So now moving on to the B part. Um, the B part, again, is just four bars, just like the A part. Um, and it starts on an F sharp here. So the first phrase goes... sharp again. again that apart from the last two notes which are just switched around so that goes So that's the whole B part. So I'll play all those phrases through all together, um, starting on the F sharp. So it goes. to Rupert again just now um, and he'll take you through the chord structure for the B part. Okay uh, thanks Sophie. Uh, just in terms of setting things up for the uh, the B part we're going to change the rhythm a little bit um, so that we kind of give a more of a, a chug just so it kind of builds in dynamics a bit. Uh, there are some um, variations and kind of ornamentation that I'm putting in um, predominantly in the second bar uh, which I'll try and talk through as we go so it's, it's just changing the root note to build on the chords. And here we go, E minor. 
D. E minor. A7. Then you can run them down. G, F sharp, E. Two. D E minor seventh A seventh Run down and D and G A seventh and a D Great, so now that we've got the whole tune. Um, I'll just play through the whole thing twice um, and you can play along. Uh, yeah, I'll take it a bit slower the first time around and then a bit more up to speed on the second time around. <laughs> Thank you for watching.